Steve Gamash with a Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product video. This time we're looking at the Masakage Mizu Nikiti 165mm knife. This line of knives has a core steel of Aogami or Blue Paper Number no. 2 reactive carbon steel. He treats anywhere 62 to 64 Rockwell, so these have a pretty nice hardness to them. The construction is a soft iron reactive cladding over the top of each side of that blue number two, a three layer sandwich. And they've got a kind of a very refined, shiny uh, KU or Kudauchi finish over the top of that. That's kind of got a blue, kind of a steel blue quality to it. And over the top of that, they've got a lacquer finish for like double the protection. Here's your chiseled kanji on this, although it's kind of hidden a little bit by the lacquer finish on it. Um, this is one of the, um, I guess the most smoothest KU finishes of most of the, any knife I've seen on Mark's site. And um, again, it's got kind of an interesting kind of a steel blue hues to it. It's pretty cool. It's definitely not black all the way. The weight on this knife is 6.6 .6 ounces, 188 grams. It's not light, but it's a tall blade, so it's a pretty big blade. Blade length, 165, and the overall length, 12.4 inches. The spine, it's hand hammered, so it's going to be a little thicker at the spine, about three millimeter right here. These will all vary in dimensions and weights because they're all handmade. And it tapers down pretty quick off of that. And then as all, Nikiri kind of holds that all the way to the end. And then the height on this is very generous. This is their characteristic of Masakage Nikiris. They are tall. That's their style. 59 millimeters here, and I measured about halfway up at 60 millimeters. So it gets a little bit taller as it gets towards the front of the blade. The handle is an oval, so these are ambidextrous. They're kind of 50-50 grind on them. Um, it's got cherry on the back uh, for the wood, and then it's got a composite kind of marbled style ferrule. There's a fair step here between the wood. You could sand that down if you wanted to. I don't really think it bothers me that much, but for some people it might, but they do have a little bit of a step there. I do like the wood, though. It's a neat look to the knife. Um, the circumference on that's a little over 3 inches, as you can see on the board. And... Um, Masakage has their signature curved neck choil coming into the uh, neck emoto choil area and spine. So it's very optimized towards a pinch grip. That's their, again, their style. Balance point on this knife is a big blade. So it's a little forward of a pinch right there. And your pinch is a little bit behind that. The um, profile on this particular one is kind of pretty classic Nikiri style. It's pretty flat with a little bit of curve towards the front third of the knife. These are ground pretty thin towards the edge, but they're not super thin like the Yuki series, which is not a bad thing. That sometimes is, those things are really, really thin at the edge. I do like the performance on this blade. It's not particularly non-stick given the kind of lack of texture on the sides and how kind of slick the finish is, but it, it doesn't wedge really too much at all, and it does clear food somewhat well, though again, you got a tall blade that things can stick to, but that's kind of the name of the game with this style of knife. The um, profile on the board, you do have a pretty flat section towards the heel that kind of stops there. And so you can chop nicely with it, but you got a little bit of a curve towards the front. If you do want to rock cut over some short stuff, you can do that with this knife. And again, it's very tall. They say it's tall so you can scoop a lot of ingredients off the board if that's something you do. The... Um, Fit and finish is quite good on the knife. It's a little bit rustic here compared to some Masakage's. It's not super smooth back here. You probably could hit that with a little sandpaper. I probably would. Uh, sometimes they come a little nicer finish. I don't know if that's this knife or the line in general, but um, overall, just a real nice performer. I really did like the way this performed on ingredients, and they did a great job on it. So there you have the Masakage Mizu Nikiti 165mm knife.